Hey everybody, how you doing? Into Weapons back again with you. Just wanted to do a quick video on a couple, or I should say a few magazines that I picked up from AIM Surplus. As you can see, these are Russian Bakelite magazines. Uh, they got an order of, I think, 5,000 of them in, uh, not more than two weeks ago, and I think they're down to 800 in their inventory. Just received mine in the mail, so I thought I would throw to get together a quick video. The reason I wanted to do this was uh, two reasons, to show you how to remove the 10-round limiter from these magazines, which I already do have a separate video out there, but I thought I would throw it in this one. And two, to bring you uh, uh, your attention to the deal, because uh, after shipping and handling and taxes and all that stuff, uh, these magazines ran a uh, total of $34 a piece for me. Uh, they're listed on their web website for $29.95, but again, you have to add shipping and handling on top of that. So uh, for $34, this is a phenomenal deal for some Russian Bakelite magazines. Um, the advertisement that they do have on their website made me led me to believe that they were all Izzy or Ismash uh, manufactured um, magazines, which as you can see, this one definitely is. It's got the, the Ismash sim sim symbol down there on the bottom. Uh, but I also did receive uh, two Tula magazines. As you can see, it's got that Tula star. I already do have two Tula magazines. I was hoping I'd get three Izzy's, but uh, when you bake lights for this price, you really can't complain one way or another what manufacturer they come from. So uh, we'll take a closer look at these guys. Uh, you can see, again, I got one Izzy and two Tulas. Uh, ran me a total of $130. I'll try to get a little bit close up here on, on some of the colors that these guys have. As you can see, it's kind of got that fake wood green look to it. Again, this is all Bakelite. I believe it has a uh, metal follower, metal spring, metal base plate, so it does have a good construction to it. These are infamous for being very solid, durable construction magazines. Uh, they, they give a lot of authenticity to the look of your AK-47 when you're using them. And in the end, these are uh, collectible. They're, they're not as easy to come by as regular steel magazines. These come straight from Russia, from those manufacturers. They come in in limited imports and numbers. So uh, when you do find them, especially at a good price, I highly recommend jumping on these as much as possible or as fast as possible. Uh, you can see this one's got a little bit of a stamp there. I'm not really sure what that is. Couldn't really make out the lettering and, and stuff inside of it. So if anyone knows what that is, let me know. But you can see this is a, a Tula. It's got the Tula star on there. This one has a little less wood grain look to it. It's just more of a, a solid uh, kind of a freckly type pattern to it. Um, and then the other side here has the, the mold number which someone on my last video pointed out that's actually the mold number for these. And uh, this one looks pretty well as, as, as well. Uh, followers and everything look really well. These aren't covered in cosmoline, so that's kind of nice. You don't really have to clean these up at all. As you can see, this third Tula actually has a really nice wood grain pattern to it. This is probably the prettiest of them all. Uh, really, really solid, good looking uh, Bakelite magazine that I have here. I uh, just wanted to show you that these do come with the 10 round limiters in there. I guess you're not able to buy these in California even with the 10 round limiter because the 10 round limiter that they provide is not a permanent modification so they are easily removed. And I did want to demonstrate how easy that is to remove these uh, from, from the magazine. So I did remove from this one just to um, kind of show you what they look like when they are outside but to, to remove it what we're going to do is just uh, grab a screwdriver here and on the bottom of your base plate there's a little button here we're going to push that in and at the same time when we got that pushed in we're going to push back on this base plate. Now when you're pushing back on this base plate you want to keep your thumb kind of over this, um, this I guess, I don't know, more of another base plate in the bottom of this magazine, but uh, it's what holds the spring in place, and you don't want to have your finger off that because it'll come popping out at you pretty hard and fast and hit you in the face. So uh, we'll go ahead and remove the spring and follower from the magazine, and you'll notice you have the 10-round the limiter there. These things are pretty easy to come out. Again, these are not a permanent modification, so essentially I'm just going to remove this uh, thing here from, let's see if we can get a little bit more wiggle room there. Just like that, and then once you have that, it should be as easy as just pulling it right out. And uh, there we go. And uh, I think the toughest part of this process is just getting this back in the magazine without popping yourself in the face. So just kind of follow her forward on the top there, slide it in. You can see this spring is pretty well greased. My hands are um, getting a little dirty, but that's okay. Again, this is the toughest part, just getting the spring back in here and not hitting yourself in the face. Make sure that this tab here with this, this bottom base plate is inside the spring. And uh, just kind of hold it in place there. And then you're going to take your base plate and from the back of the magazine, slide it forward until it locks back into position. And now your magazine will allow full 30 round capacity there. Uh, so you got the Izzy as well. The uh, Izzy turned out real nice. I'm glad I at least got one Izzy out of the group. And I notice here it's actually got a couple more stamps on there. Maybe I'll point out if someone knows what these are. It looks like a, a P within a box there, not acrylic lettering. So that's kind of unusual. And then uh, what, what looks like an OT maybe and a 43. So um, a little bit more stamps on this one than the Tula ones. Uh, and then you got a, a K over here as well. 
Uh, so overall, really happy with these magazines. Again, for $34 a piece after shipping and handling and taxes, you can't go wrong. Great phenomenal deal. Check out AIM Surplus if you haven't already or if you want to pick some of these up. They're going fast. As of this morning, they had about 850 in their inventory out of the original 5,000 a couple weeks ago. So they are moving fast. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, as always, guys, I really appreciate watching. Until next time, take it easy.